A body motion goal swing. I will write body motion. Yay! What that means is uh, when I'm teaching people that they're a goal swing, I'm teaching feedback. But I'm not the one providing the feedback here. The feedback is made from the player himself. So the player hit the shot and I might ask them how was that shot? What is was it better than the previous one or was it happening the way you want? Because when I'm teaching a body motion is to teach the overall or whole motion first. When you have the overall or whole motion first, that means that when that's stable, then you can increase detail or tweaks or tweaking the swing. But if you do that uh, too much, and people say, well, Robert, you don't understand the modern classical swing. Well, I understand it pretty fine because I'm looking at the motion. I'm looking at the motion people do. And when I'm working with people who have modern swing or classical swing, I'm looking at the motion and I'm adjusting that motion so their kinetic chain works for their swing. And that means that the motion they have then works as it should do. And some people say, well, uh, and that's why in, when people try to you know, view the golf swing or golf action or all that stuff, like say, Ben Hogan had a secret, some people said, no he doesn't. Ben Hogan, who was a great golfer, by the way, didn't understand his own golf swing. He didn't understand it. He could do it, but he didn't understand it, because when he explaining it, and demonstrating what he was talking about in the swing motion, his explanation and demonstration didn't match his own swing motion. So that means for me that he didn't understand it. And it's, it's actually not possible to understand your own swing motion. Mike Austin had the same thing. Mike Austin was a long hitter and a really great guy also. He was hitting the ball a mile. He was a long hitter. And when you're a long hitter and you're hitting at about 400 yards uh, in the day of, you know, 1940, 1950, and Mike Austin was swinging 160 miles per hour. That's right, 160 miles per hour. Jamie Sadlowski, like the people say, wow, Sadlowski, he may get up to 150 or something like that miles per hour. And Mike Austin still was 160. He was. 10 miles per hour, it was 25 yards longer than James Sadlowski or Zubak or other guys. And that with equipment that was, you know, 1950, 1960, something like that, you know, it was old equipment. So we understand that, you know, something is going on there. And <clears throat> Mike Austin had the same problem. When he was teaching it, he tried to take what he was doing, the motion he was doing, but he was breaking it down into details. And then when you break down into details, you create what we call a representation or a concept to understand what's going on there. And when we do that, it's, it increases a disc, uh, uh, mismatch or a disc, discrepancy. However you pronounce that, I don't know. You have a discrepancy. That means it doesn't match. And when I'm looking at what Mike Austin was swinging and his students were swinging, it doesn't match. But I don't do a, a, you know, a, a big thing about it. That for me, it don't match. <clears throat> I don't know why. I don't know why. But I, I'm just taking notes then. For me, that means that the overall whole motion that the player is doing is taking place less than a second. We can't understand how we do that motion, we just do it. And we can try to explain it later on, but the concept we're using or whatever will create a difference between the motion and So I'm looking more at the motion. So I'm teaching people when I do a body motion swing to use their own feedback. That means the player tells me if the shot was done. I'm looking. I'm looking here. I look at the player.
I'm looking at the player, and I'm asking them, you know, I'm looking at them, and I'm looking at the motion they do, and I'm saying, telling them to adjust something in their uh, stance, or I might uh, adjust something in the body motion, or something like that, until it matches what I would say is a uh, proper kinetic chain for their swing. I can do that with a classical swing, I can do that with a modern swing, I've done both. And I can, seems to be able to do to create what do people call a, uh, an Austin swing also. Because I'm looking at the motion, I'm not looking at the representation of the concept Mike was talking about or Ben Hogan was talking about. I'm looking at the motion they were doing. And when the play, new player wants to learn a new swing, I'm looking at uh, the motion they're doing and I'm asking them for the feedback they have when they hit the shot. I'm not the one who's an expert here. The player is. The player will teach themselves or as I like to say the body they have, the body action, in this case the motion, will teach the player uh, with feedback what a good shot is and it will allow them, if they keep an external focus, and this is one of the key things I'm teaching people, is to have an external focus. External. When you have an external focus on, instead of in inside or what the body is doing, when you learn the motion, the thing about the learning happens faster. The learning goes faster. I had Hans Andersson, he's a national pro here in Sweden. I had him for four hours over two days, minus four Celsius also. So he is hitting a shot. He is hitting a shot. And I ask him, uh, and I'm looking at him, and I look, does it match the motion? If not, I make him change something. And he not, he's not asking me why, I just tell him to practice that, and I pre-practice that. And then he gets some feedback from a new action. And I'm not telling him he's doing it right. It's, I'm asking him, does it work better? And when he says yes, I check the motion. That's what I'm checking. I'm checking the motion. And I'm checking if the motion is combined and matches the feedback he is getting from the swing and action. And if it starts to go where he wants it to go. So my, in my view, he was in four hours able to do what most people would take at least a year, something like that. Most people in the golf industry say it takes two years to train a new swing, and it doesn't. It does if you do not do it this way, because the swing coach will try to make the player fit the system, and I don't do that. I am asking the player in how his own motion does is needed to do and be done in the swing, matching uh, Mike Austin uh, because it's a simpler system to do. And if it works better for him, his own body would teach him the proper feedback and he can feel that by impact, impact, and the sound of impact. And I can also, when I do that, make sure he has an external action or an external motion external focus. External focus means that the individual when they swing is not focused on what the body is doing, what my hand is doing, or my elbow is doing, or my pelvis is doing, or my, what my feet are doing, or if I'm holding my head still or not. All that is uh, not needed to learn the proper motion. When you do that, having a proper external focus when you're teaching this, he can improve his old action to a new action in four hours, which normally takes for most people a year or more. Because when they try to teach people normally in the golf swing industry, 
they try to make the player fit the system, like Tiger Woods is trying to do with Hank Haney and Butch Harmon and now Sean Fall and all that stuff. They try to fit him into the system instead of asking what kind of system does he need to have to make the motion properly for him so he can have proper feedback and to make the proper sh uh, and then he can hit it long and straight and all that stuff and the thing here is he can teach himself to get it right so I taught him how to do that have an external focus once he got home he has improved his action he has improved it and because I provided him with uh, focus attention points attention so I will include in this video uh, a video next time when he's hitting a shot the 19th of November and one shot when he hits it the 29th of November and uh, because it's different in, in their motion the motion has changed for him in those 10 days and because his body has been teaching him proper feedback because he has had external focus so instead of trying to fit the system to the player I'm teaching the player to find their own motion and when they do that they are owning the swing much like Ben Hogan was doing and much like Mike Austin and like Moon Norma so then the player can play great golf because they have an overall motion that works for them for feedback so they can always replicate the timing in their own way. And since I'm using a Mike Austin long hitter system, it's also support a 160 miles per hour swing. And if you're a modern swing player, Tiger Woods, uh, stuff like that, you can hit it uh, fast enough without you uh, sacrifice accuracy. Because the system I'm teaching people make you more accurate and long at the same time. So it makes you longer and more accurate at the same time. So instead of trying, when you try to get longer in the modern swing, when you get, try to get longer, wow, I want to hit it way out there, then you sacrifice the accuracy on, on the way to get longer. So you have to find the middle road then. And with the, this kind of system, you can hit it longer and more straight than your competitor. So if you're competing with other people in the golf, as people do, you can hit it 20 yards or 30 yards or 40 yards longer with less effort. And be more accurate and that's give you an advantage it doesn't mean you will win every major uh, every year four in a row every year for five years or something like that but it will give you a uh, competitive edge and when it give it you a competitive edge it makes it easier to play golf or more simple and that's the body motion idea I have